Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, we broke out the uh, EEPROM programmer again and I'm gonna try taking a look at what the hell's going on with this chip and stuff. So, so this is the chip I tried putting in the oscilloscope before. Gonna drop it in place. Let's do a verify if it's erased. Oh, it says it's erased. All right, so nothing on the chip. Uh, let's um, so one. So let's let's make sure that we can program it. I know we checked that before, but. Let's just double check, C, D, E, F. All right, that's good. So we're gonna program from buffer to, yes. Did not program correctly. Hmm. All right, I wonder if this chip is damaged. Let's try again, yes. Oh, hmm. Did I somehow screw that up? Let's try another one. Yes. Okay. This chip looks good. So... Five. All right, so that's the test. That's the test file, and we're going to clear it. We're going to read it. Take a look. Okay. All right, so let's clear that. And let's... Program it with all FF. We're going to verify it's erased. Okay. So something happened with the other chip. Now, let's put the actual flash RAM in here. And let's, let's read this. Okay. All right, this definitely does not look like anything that was in the other chip. So let's try doing this. Let's take what we read and let's burn it into our FRAM chip. Programming, verifying, says it's correct. Let's go to the buffer, clear the buffer. And then let's read device into buffer. Let's take a look. All right, I mean, it looks similar. All right, so the FRAM chip now matches what's in the NVRAM. All right, so let's pop that out. Let's slide that over. Bring the scope back over here. And where are we? Here we are. Okay, let's... Pop that in. Um...
interesting. Wow, now it doesn't even start up at all. Don't know what that's about. Okay. Don't think it has anything to do with that. I think the plug. There you go, it wasn't plugged in all the way. Okay, Hewlett Packard Company. Oh, look at that. Huh. Okay, I guess it didn't like the Ephraim chip starting up with all FFs in it. But this, this started right up. Well, okay then. Um, all right, let's do, what do we have here? What is it, the system, okay. Service menu, self-test. ROM, passed, self-test, RAM, the RAM test has passed, all right, display, those looked good, All right, um, okay, so let's go in and let's do a, uh, let's do a self-cal again. Now with the, uh, with the Ephraim chip in there. All right, let me just put that down flat and we're gonna hook this to the DC cal on the back. And self-cal, vertical, connect to channel one and press continue. And let's, um, let's let it calibrate. In the meantime, um, I'm going to take another look at this chip here. All right, and we're calibrated. Uh, pretty cool. All right, let me get the cover back on this. Uh, we'll run a signal through it just for a quick uh, sanity check. And I think we can wrap up. Back in a minute. All right, we're back. All right, so this is where we are. We spent about an hour verifying chips, copying them, programming them, swapping them out. So the scope starts up. It looks good. Let me stop it. If I go to start it up again, You see, it says set up memories. Uh, let me do it one more time. I didn't read it fast enough. Basically, it says the checksum for the saved setup memories has failed and defaults are loaded. Let me make sure that's what it is. Yep, fails the checksum test. So, huh, um, I don't know why I tried the one good module, I tried this module, I get the same error as well. If I put, if I put the Dallas chip, 
um, ST microelectronics. But if I put the battery back, NVRAM, back into it, take this out, take this, pop this back in. Start it up. Looks good. Try it again. Still looks good. I don't know what the problem is. I took these chips and I cloned the contents of the NVRAM onto them. Uh, I programmed them each a couple times. I've compared them to the, to the NVRAM. Everything checks out, byte for byte, looks good. Put them in, it's failing a checksum test. I don't know why. I put the NVRAM back in, it does what it's supposed to do. So I have to say I'm disappointed because this seems very helpful. Uh, I, I've seen someone else on YouTube do this with a, a different scope, and these worked out great for them. I don't know what's going on with the HP scope. I don't know what it's looking for, what it's not finding, what it is about these chips that is somehow different. I mean, they're pin compatible. I can program them. I can read them. I can compare them with the uh, NVRAM. Everything checks out. I put them in the scope here. It's failing a checksum. So kind of at a loss. I guess this was a bit of a failure. I mean, I still had fun putting, the, putting these together and uh, you know, playing with them with the programmer and all that, but it looks as though this is not going to work. So I'm left with waiting for the battery in this one to die. Um, since there's no date code, I don't know how old it is. It, someone could have replaced it. It doesn't look like it though. I think what I'm going to do, since I socketed this, I'm just going to get a new ST Microelectronics non volatile RAM module, pop it in, and go with that. Um, since I don't use this scope that much, I may just leave this one and when it dies, it dies. Uh, I'll get at least one for the uh, for the 100 megahertz scope. I'm uh, much more likely to continue to make use of that. But for right now, I think uh, I think I'm going to just bring this to a close. Um, it was a worthwhile exercise. Got a little practice doing some surface mount stuff. Uh, learned a little bit. Well, I learned a little bit about these chips. Uh, I'm going to have to try and do some research, see if I can figure out maybe what the difference is, why it, the checksum is failing. I don't have a good answer, a good reason for it, but I'll keep poking around. And if I find out anything interesting, I'll uh, post a video about it. All right. Thanks for watching. Sorry this didn't work out, but you know, we live and learn. Questions, comments, put them below. Like and subscribe if you're so inclined. And I will see you in the next video. All right, everyone. Thanks a lot. Take care.